Hey everybody, welcome back. It is week number three. We're going to take a quick walk through um, and look at what is going on in the course this week. Um, help you get moving with any assignments coming up um, and all of that good stuff. So let's go first to the um, course calendar just as a means of getting ourselves oriented. We are starting with the Plato slash ancient Greek uh, business. And most of you have already seen that you have already been divided into your um, groups that you're going to be creating a PowerPoint and a video for. Um, we're technically not getting started with that until next week, but I'll go over a few kind of helpful hints and stuff in case you want to get going early. So what's going to happen is that um, next week you'll have the week to read your assigned play. Each of you will be reading one of three um, Sophocles plays uh, surrounding Oedipus and Antigone, except I can't apparently spell because Ant <laughs> I'm looking at Antigone. It's not Antogon. Um, but anyway, there's three plays. Each of you have been um, assigned randomly to a group. You will have to read one play. And then I will, once I get the videos, I will share them so that all of you can learn about all of the plays. Um, so normally we would have this in a um, live Zoom session, but since we are fully remote and fully um, asynchronous, you will be creating a video and then I will share those out. Um, you guys can manage yourselves however you want to with the group presentations, um, but you will need to submit the PowerPoint by the end of week five, and then you will need to present or submit the video by the end of week six so you you have plenty of time to work on these um it's always a little bit of a challenge to get everybody coordinated um when we have fully online classes into a group presentation situation um but having that extra time should hopefully make it 100 percent doable um one of the cool things about of course modern technology is that you could conceivably create a video um if you've got somebody on your team who's good at editing you could even create a video without having any um synchronous time with your group although most of you are probably going to want to do a synchronous um meeting on zoom to do the video and that is certainly um the easiest for me at least um thinking about it it's the easiest way because i have not done a lot of video editing and when i do i get really stressed about it so um but if you've got a clever video editor um you guys can manage that process however you want to so that's coming up uh, but this week you are really focusing only on plato's republic um, and learning about some of the ancient Greek government issues that have, um, and, and taking a look at how those have influenced or um, how they are still kind of mirrored in our own government or how our government is different from that. So that's what's going on this week. Um, you will also be throughout the week getting feedback on paper number one. Um, I will probably middle of the week post, uh, once I get those done, I'll probably post a little quick video on how to um, locate and utilize your feedback on those. Um, because of course that's going to become an important part of the learning process here uh, is once you have submitted work, and you have received a grade for it, you want to make sure that you learn from that feedback. So that will come um, later this week sometime in announcements as well. All right, so let me go to the module. Um, as I said, we are entering the module number two, which is the ancient roots module. Uh, so you have three, really four weeks of stuff going on here. Um, but it is uh, a little at a time. Uh, so we're going to talk about the overview and the 
learning materials, uh, but those will be used throughout the next few weeks. So during unit two, of course, um, here are the course objectives and the student learning outcomes that we are focusing on. Um, we are working on literary criticism. So of course that's a big piece of it. We are also kind of highlighting um, the breadth of literature that is out there. Obviously we are not having to learn ancient Greek to read uh, some of these ancient Greek readings. We are reading translated versions, but um, of course, that is still giving us some insight into the past and into other cultures as well. For the learning materials, of course, you've got the reading assignments. Um, I What I've done in each of these modules is kind of given you a little um, snippet of the assignment, uh, the part from the the part from the syllabus that is relevant here so that you can kind of strategize how quickly you want to read things. Um, you do not have to read everything in this module before you do your discussion board, uh, but certainly you will want to read your plays on time and, and, th and that sort of thing. So um, eventually we will be doing a Shakespearean play as well. So we're hitting ancient Greece and um, what feels like ancient uh, England, even though Shakespeare technically is in the uh, still in the in the fairly modern period for literature. All right, so let's take a look at where the readings are located. Um, this, of course, will take you to the um, library uh, and to our courses um, libguide. You've got things separated out sort of in the way that they come. Um, the first two of these selections from Plato's Republic and Ancient Greek Government, you should read both of those this week. Then next week, you've got the three plays uh, and we'll take a look at the list of people and who is in what group, if you do not already know that. Um, so that reading set will be for next week and then finally you have Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream um, that you should read before um, we get to that part to, to weeks uh, what is it five and six or six and six and seven um, that is a long play I will tell you it is a long play so I would um, you know kind of plan your time accordingly the all of the Sophocles plays are fairly short um, so those will not take you as long and you only have to read one of those you will also notice that we do have links to um, additional resources so in all cases you have a video link um, I do highly recommend watching the video, but also do not uh, let that be the only thing that you do. <laughs> you need to also read them. Um, you have links to the author biographies. And as we learned um, when we looked at the LibGuide for the previous paper, you have these critical analysis pieces. So as you guys are working on your uh, presentations, for the plays, the, the Sophocles plays, you can use the author biography and the critical analysis pieces there, um, just like you would in a research paper. You can use them in your presentation as well. And then, of course, there is Midsummer Night's Dream, which also has video, um, author biography, and a critical analysis. So that's the materials that are in the uh, book stack on the main page here. Um, and then of course you will go back out to the module to do the assignments. So for this week, your only assignment is the discussion board on Plato. So discuss Plato's concept of the philosopher king and compare that ideal to leaders of today. Feel free to add research, of course, beyond just our readings. Um, and you don't have to do fancy documentation, but if you do use other sources, please list them. Um, if you want to go ahead and do in-text citations, that's absolutely fine. But um, I just really, because this is a discussion board, we can be a little bit more formal. Just give us a list at the end. Um, your, your own responses should be three to five paragraphs. And then, of course, you guys have already been doing good jobs at responding to each other. Um, so continue to do that as well. But this week, what's due is that essay um, length piece that's on the Plato 
readings uh, and the ancient Greek government readings. Okay. Um, just as a reminder, if you want to see who you're in a group with, there's two places to go. Um, one is that there is, it's in the announcements. Um, and, uh, oh, actually I didn't list them on there, but I, uh, showed you how to do it. Um, when you click on the people link in the navigation column, there is a link to, of course, everybody who's in the class, including our assigned librarian, uh, the lovely and talented Kevin Arms. And then up here, you'll notice next to everyone, you have the groups. The groups are listed here with four students in them. And I don't know if, yes, I can open them. Um, I'm in as a student, so I wasn't sure if I could open them. <laughs> but this will give you the list of who you're in a group with as well as who has been assigned Annabellis, Gabrielle, and Eric, um, Gabriel, sorry, um, my brain is not working today, uh, and Eric have been assigned as the group leaders. That is just a formal um, and, and, and completely random thing that does not make them any more important or less important, but um, you will notice that they have been assigned as the group leaders there. Now, when you are eventually working together on your presentations, um, the first group, of course, is listed here is going to be doing Antigone. These are kind of out of order, but the but lovely um, canvas put them in alphabetical order for me. Oedipus at Colonus and Oedipus Rex. So you will only be responsible for reading that one play out of the three um, that you will find again going to our LibGuide. Um, when it is time to turn in assignments for those, uh, I believe because you are in that group, I think only one person has to turn in the PowerPoint and one person has to turn in the video. Um, but if you want to all submit it because it makes you feel more secure, that is fine as well. But we will talk more about that next week because we technically have not started that yet. Um, I will mention that... Um, Within the groups, I believe you have the ability to, um, and I'm not in one, so I can't demonstrate it, but I believe you have the ability to message just the people who are in your group uh, within Canvas. And of course, um, the Zoom is, Zoom is not embedded in the Canvas, but I highly recommend using Zoom over anything that is built into canvas for uh for easy communication you may also decide you guys want to set up um, a google doc uh or a google slides thing and then convert it to powerpoint or i mean honestly i can open google slides too if you want to leave it that way um but you may want to use something like that so that you can communicate and that you can all uh, have access to the materials and edit them and, and that sort of stuff. I think there's even a way for you to do that in Office 365 within the groups. Um, yeah, it's not going to let me because I'm in the student view. But um, so if you want to try doing that, you certainly can. There's a lot of really cool things to help you share the load these days. Um, but we'll talk more about that next week when we uh, when we get there. All right. So I hope everyone has a great week learning about philosopher Kings and the concepts that um, sometimes still kind of pop up in our own uh, in our own governmental strategies. And uh, as usual, if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, I'm around and uh, I look forward to seeing you next Monday uh, and or Sunday night and uh, talking to you in the meantime. Everybody take care. Have a great week.